Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at the Crown Heads Four Kicks Mule Kick LE 2022. Here it is. Now it's back after a one year absence. And this is the sixth release. This year, the Mule Kick will feature a San Andreas Mexican wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, blended by Ernesto. Perez Carrillo and it's five and seven eighths by 52. There's your density. A total allocation of 4,000 10 count boxes were made, priced at $11.95 per cigar. So let's Get right to it. The new Crown Heads Four Kicks Mule Kick Limited Edition 2022. All right, let's remove this little band at the foot here. See if it comes off easy. Good. It does. Crown Heads. Crowned Heads. That was a good sounding cut. A little bit of firmness on the draw, but you know, it is a little firm, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it ride. Let's do it. Getting a load of citrus peel, brown sugar, a thick nutmeg, dry cocoa, quite a bit of dry cocoa, and a light black coffee. Black pepper at about seven ish. So that's how you start. As far as your darker notes, I'm getting dry cocoa and black coffee. I'm not getting anything else right now. That is your start. Cigar is starting to develop a little bit and the flavors are kind of changing a little bit. The front end flavor that is sweet with some brown sugar attached to it is more of a crab apple and apricot. That sort of a combination. I know it might sound strange, but in my mind, that's what it tastes like. There is still the nutmeg there. There's the dry cocoa. And I'm thinking, you know, it's really more of a chocolate flavor than a, than a black coffee flavor. It, is, it might be a, on the par of a dark chocolate, but it has sweetness to it. So it was kind of throwing me a little bit. I would say that's what it is. And it's not bad. It's just, it, it is a little different. Different's not bad, but I'm starting it off at 92. It's pretty good. To me, it's not wowing me, but it's it's not bad. The finish is a uh, good bit of brown sugar with apricot. An average lingering black pepper, maybe a little above, but it's about average. Medium body, so it's not bad. Uh, Kind of would like the sweetness to develop a little more. It has some, but I, I you know, I, I'd like a little more, but that's just me. So let's see what we have in the second third. Into the second third. And it sort of slowed down a little bit if you notice in the time. Pretty much got the same flavors. The citrus peel has kind of crept back in, and there's some light walnuts at the very base, along with the dark chocolate. Cigar did seem to get a little sweeter. That crab apple apricot flavor is still there. 
And I want to check. There seems to be a little black coffee at the base. So it's sort of expanded a little bit flavor wise. Medium to full. Finish is sort of light. Apricot, very light, light brown sugar, dark chocolate. With good lingering black pepper now. I would say the cigar now is a 93. It's, it's pretty good. It's gotten better. Um, it's fairly dark. But it's as long as it's improving, that's a good thing. I'm just waiting to see kind of how we're going to finish up now. So those new flavor notes are there. Some came back. So let's just see. Let's see what we have in the final third. So we're down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Well, the sweetness took a little nosedive. It's gotten very dark, though. Uh, the uh, crab apple, apricot, citrus peel is sort of a combination. It's very light. Brown sugar is very light. Dark chocolate is quite prominent. Black coffee is quite prominent. Don't really have the walnuts anymore. Finish is sort of dark chocolate. Primarily, and uh, good lingering black pepper. Full body, I would say. But the sweetness that crept up in the middle section dropped off in the final third, uh, and and it's, it's not very. It's it's right at the line with me. I'll go ninety. But the final third is ninety. This is not a bad cigar. It's not something I typically gravitate toward. It just doesn't have the proper ratios of sweetness and to the darkness overall. Speaking overall, your overall score is 91.67. So it's not bad, but it's not great to me. You may think differently, but that's just kind of my take on it. So that's kind of where I'm going to stand. So the new Crown Heads 4 Kicks Mule Kick Limited Edition 2022, 91.67.